Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And the first thing I'm going to do today is um, I'm making a ham in my crock pot. And um, I've been really sick, so I'm going to talk to you all about that in a minute. The um, first thing I've got is I've got a, just a um, spiral ham. I can't even think of the name of it now. Um, Smithfield, <laughs> Smithfield spiral ham, and I have it in my crock pot, and under this, the ham, I put, um, a can of just pineapple slice, the juice from pineapple slices in there, and I'm going to put brown sugar, this is just Domino's dark brown sugar, I'm going to put that all on top. And down in the bottom, too, it takes right much brown sugar um, for this because I want it to all be to season the whole ham. So what I do is I just put it, smear it around with my hand, and it's all down inside there and all, too. And I'm going to take this can of pineapples, and I put the juice on the top of the ham also so that um, it'll go down inside the ham in the slices and then I just take the pineapple slices and I'm going to put these in the bottom because I'm using two cans of pineapple slices and just put them down on your ham and then the, here's the other jar I mean, the other can of pineapple slices. And ham and brown sugar and pineapple slices just go together. I mean, that's just all it is to it. That's pretty much all I do with my hams. And this ham, I don't even know how many pounds it is or what, but I only paid $12 for it, and it's a Smithfield spiral, so... I'm real excited about that, and um, this, I've got my crock pot set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cook this on high for um, two hours, and then I'm going to cut it down to low. It's 11 o'clock in the morning, and so at 1 o'clock, I'm going to cut it down to low and um, let it cook on um, there on low for Oh, six or seven, eight hours, whenever we get ready to eat. Um, but I've got to get the lid and hook the lid on, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got to tell you that I'm losing it. I really am losing it. I have been so sick and haven't been cooking very much. When I was doing this ham... Instead of having it, this part comes out. I had the ham and the pineapple down inside here. So, when I went to put the lid on it to show y'all, um, <laughs> it was down, the ham was down inside this, down inside here. So, I had to clean all this up. Now I'm back. I'm going to put the lid on it. I've got the timer set for two hours on high. Um... So, I wanted to talk to you and tell you, um, we had our first real snow a couple weeks ago. We had, um, where I live, we had 15 inches, and it's still all around here, um, on the sides of the mountain and in, uh, yards that are, um, shaded and stuff like that. My mom always said when snow lays around, it's waiting for more. So I'm just waiting to see if that's true or not. But anyway, I've got pictures that I'm going to show you off my grandchildren, two of my grandchildren playing out in the snow with my daughter and my step-grandson. And um, <laughs> right after that, I got sick. Um, they had been telling me at the doctors for a while that they thought I had COPD. And I didn't want to believe it or whatever. 
But then this time I got sick. I got bronchitis. And I haven't been able to breathe. I haven't been able to do anything. <laughs> this has been the sickest that I've been in a very long time. My nurse, my daughter, and my step-grandson have been taking care of me. They've been doing the cooking, the cleaning, everything. Because I just have not been able to breathe. I have taken two rounds of antibiotics, steroids, um, and coughed until I didn't think there was going to be anything left inside me. <laughs> but... Um, I do feel a little bit better. I still have right much congestion in my chest. And I'm sorry that I haven't been on here to to um, tell you what was going on. I just have not felt like it. I have not felt like it. Um, so this is my apology to all of you. I haven't um, read your comments. I mean, I've read them, but I haven't been able to um, comment to your comments because I have um, to get on my laptop, and I just haven't felt like getting on my laptop. Um, it's over pretty far away from where I sleep, so and I just don't carry it with me anywhere. So I just haven't been on there. Um, I, hopefully now I've got quite a few things that I want to fix for y'all. Um, this ham is one of my, you know, we love ham here. The kids absolutely love ham. So this is just a crock pot ham, and a ham to me is not a ham unless you have brown sugar and pineapple on it. So that's why I haven't been on. This is what I'm doing. Um, I hope you can understand. Keep um, on liking my videos keep on watching my videos keep on subscribing to my channel because hopefully i'm not going to go anywhere anytime soon um might not be able to breathe too good <laughs> anymore but i'm not on oxygen yet so let's pray that i don't get that far um let's pray i can get this congestion and all out of my chest and get back to being the old debbie of the food prepping channel um, but, um, like I said, I've got this ham on now. I'm going to cook it on high for two hours. Then I'm going to cut it down to low and cook it on low for six to eight hours. And when it gets done tonight, I will bring you back. Okay, I'm back. Here's the ham cooked in the crock pot. It looks so good. It smells so good. And here's my plate. Of course, I've got some pineapple on there. And I've fixed ham and green beans and mashed potatoes. And um, I know this is going to be good. And I hope now to be able to feel better <laughs> enough to be cooking more meals and not leaving it up to my step-grandson and um, to cook the meals and stuff like that and hopefully you can understand what was going on I hope you like this recipe for the ham it's an awesome awesome dish um, like I said this is Smith Smithfield spiral ham and um, I'm gonna go eat so if you like my um, recipe if you like my video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and you have a wonderful night bye